you can think about loan prequalification as a first interview of sorts. It's usually just a 10 or 15 minute conversation where we'll talk about your service history, your income, debt, and your credit. Different lenders may take different approaches to this conversation, but it's common for loan officers to also ask you about your current and previous employment, your assets like bank accounts and retirement funds, your monthly liabilities, things like daycare costs, child support, or alimony, if you've had any previous bankruptcies, foreclosures, or judgments, or any delinquencies or defaults on any federal debts like student loans and more. With your permission, lenders will also conduct what's known as a hard inquiry to obtain your credit scores. A hard inquiry can ding your credit score, although it's typically only a few points, if any. When you're shopping for a mortgage, the credit bureaus won't count every hard inquiry against you. Instead, they'll usually consider all mortgage credit pulls within a 30-day period as one single inquiry. This helps buyers comparison shop without hurting their credit score. Different lenders can have different credit score requirements. Generally, a 620 FICO is typical for VA lenders. Any co-borrowers on the loan would also need to meet the lender's credit score requirement. If you're purchasing in one of the nation's nine community property states, lenders can also consider your spouse's credit and debts even if they won't be on the loan with you. Lenders will also get a good look at your major monthly debts from your credit reports. They'll use these debts and the income information you provide to calculate an initial debt to income ratio or DTI. This key metric divides those debts by your gross monthly income. Lenders usually have a maximum allowable DTI ratio. They'll calculate this figure largely in part based on the loan amount you're seeking. High DTI ratio and low credit are two of the most common reasons why some prospective buyers cannot get pre-qualified. So, what happens if you don't meet the lender's credit score cutoff? Some lenders may just say, sorry, we can't help you. We wanted to take a different approach at Veterans United. We created an entire department dedicated to helping service members, veterans, and military families repair their credit and get on the path to loan prequalification. If we're not able to pre-qualify borrowers, they have the opportunity to work with the credit experts in our Lighthouse program. Our Lighthouse consultants will help you develop a personalized plan to boost your credit, reduce your debt, and strengthen your overall financial profile. This is a free service offered only to veterans, service members, and military families. The Lighthouse program has helped more than 6,000 veterans and service members overcome their credit challenges and go on to close on a home loan. It's an incredible service and something we're really proud of here at Veterans United. So let's take a step back and sum up everything we've talked about. Getting pre-qualified is important, but it's also a very basic step. With pre-qualification, other than your credit score and the debt information from your credit reports, lenders are pretty much taking you at your word for everything else. That's why pre-qualification is really the first part of a much more powerful home buying tool, and that's loan pre-approval. Pre-approval is a more involved process where you're filling out paperwork, providing pay stubs, bank statements, and other information to verify your income, your debts, and your service. You don't want to go out and make an offer on a home with only a pre-qualification in your pocket. But loan pre-approval? That's a different story. Being pre-approved for a loan means you're ready to start searching for your perfect home.